On this Tesla Model 3 right here, it's got over 82,000 driven miles on these original brake pads, just like a spin on oil filter on a gasoline engine for another Tesla video. So this is going to be a little bit of Tesla maintenance. Do not try this at home, but I'm just informing you guys that a properly maintained tire on a Tesla can extend your battery life and degradation. How is this possible? Well, stay tuned. We're going to have a lot of tips and tricks on a Tesla, the maintenance to perform. And also we're going to show you the proper procedure to jack this up. As you can see, both jacks are angled in. So whenever I set this camera down, I can jack up both jacks simultaneously and not create any unnecessary stress on this battery pack. Today I got the message to rotate my tires. It pops up that the rear tread depth is lower than the front uh, based on the electronics and the computer system it knows that there's more revolutions per minute for the rear wheels as opposed to the front for each wheel speed sensor. So first I'm topping up my solar generator right there with a 200 watt nerves view panel. That's a Markson G1500. It's able to put out 1800 watts and that equates to seven miles per hour on this Tesla Model 3 right here. So that's pretty incredible. Even though the solar panel, I could add more to it to be able to support that 1800 watts output. So more goes out than comes in, unfortunately with just one panel, but uh, you can charge up with that set up with a neutral ground. So right here, we're about to uh, jack this vehicle up with the jacks, but first I have to get this special thing. So I don't right here. So these are the jack pads. These are capable of 33,000 pounds and I prefer these because they snap in each other. I have both types. The ones with the case that are bigger, but I actually prefer these. They have the O-ring. They lock into place up underneath the vehicle, but I keep all this. It's nice to have a little jump box right here because if your battery does die up in the front, you can still jump the vehicle off with that and get off the side of the road and open the front with the two little positive and ground wires that's right back there. And it's, I recommend having two jacks so you can do one side at a time and you need these little special tools right here, then I would recommend a knee pad because you want to put these up in this little hole. As you can see, I've got both of the hockey pucks installed on this side of the battery and I've got both of the jacks. You want to get them perfectly center up underneath this hockey puck right here. So whenever you contact the jack, it is nice and flush and it's not going to fall off. Even a bent rim can affect the battery degradation. How is this possible? Well, if you have a vibration on a battery, what does that do to a battery? Well, vibration kills batteries. So why is that important to rotate and balance your tires? Well, if you have a bent rim, which is even worse than an improperly balanced tire, over the course of 50,000 miles, that battery is going to be vibrated apart basically from the inside out, and that's gonna create unnecessary stress. Just like that with two hands, it locks from the center of the hubcap right there, and now you can access the lug nuts. So Model 3 look better with or without the Rim Tricks hubcaps right here. Let me know in the comments below. You guys are always brutally honest with me down there in the Tesla comments. And I'm curious because I've gotten as low as 200 watts per mile on my Tesla Model 3, and I run these on both of my Teslas, as you, as you can see. So it's an 18 inch rim, but they go over the lip of the rim and make it look like a 19 inch rim. And that serves as a dual purpose because it also protects the rim. So if you do damage the hubcap, which I have before on a curb, you can replace the hubcap, which is a whole lot cheaper than repairing the wheel. All right, so now that my Tesla is off the ground, so the first thing I normally do is I like spinning the tire and visually running my eyes across and just seeing if there's any balance issues because a lot of times you can see if there's a broken belt up inside this tire it'll kind of do like this as you're rotating it which these tires are spinning perfectly smooth as over 82,000 miles and take a look at the brake pads these are like brand new pads and i'll tell you why 82,000 miles driven I never touch the brake pedal. I use the one pedal driving feature and I drive very efficiently where I don't accelerate unnecessarily where I have to hit the brake pedal. You let the car do all the work for you with the full self-driving. It is very intelligent and drives at peak efficiency with these rim tricks hubcaps combined and their aero capabilities. I've gotten as low as 200 watts per mile sustainably on multiple trips.
an oil filter right below the axle, just like a spin on oil filter on a gasoline engine. But why does it have an oil filter on the side of the motor of an electric car? Well, let me tell you why. So gasoline engines are very dirty processes, especially diesels, even worse. So they suck up all this dirty air that we're breathing and this little flimsy air filter tries to filter out some of the particles, but it's not perfect. So they get in the combustion process and also gasoline, oil they pump from the, the ground. It's not perfect either, it's dirty. Fuel filters get dirty, they get clogged up. Well, that gets into the engine oil on your combustion engine car and that gets the oil dirty every three, five, 10,000 miles, you gotta change your oil. Well, on a Tesla, Tesla motors, the electric motors are produced in very sterile environments, almost like a surgery room by robots. They're created to almost perfection because it's a sealed component. No dirt can get in, no dirt can get out. The filter itself is there just from the manufacturing process. If there was any contaminants, it gets trapped in that filter. Last little tip in this video is always keep one of these in your vehicle. So if you have even autopilot, full self-driving, it struggles if the cameras get dirty. So I always just go around the car. Don't forget all the cameras, the license plate camera in the back. These are pretty important right here because it'll say one of them is blocked if they get dirty. And basically right here, and the windshield one, as you know, you can just squirt the windshield washer fluid and it basically cleans the windshield one. Same thing on this car. Thanks for watching.